good morning, friends. Woke up totally refreshed at this truck stop in Jacksonville. It's awesome. I love these Florida rest stops. They're all pretty unique. Well, friends, we're getting started for the day. Finally, on the fantasy tour. So the sleep was amazing last night. As you can imagine, I have a really nice mattress back there. I've got everything kind of sorted out for the most part, everything I can so far, where things go. I'm feeling organized. I got some editing done last night and I'm feeling good. Great night's sleep. Now let's see what we can get into today. I'm gonna to stop at a coffee shop here in downtown Jacksonville and then get started. I'm gonna meet some friends near Charlotte and then shoot over to Nashville today. So we'll see how far we get, what we find, and let's do it. Well, I like to start the day with a coffee, usually. So I found the nearest Starbucks off route, and I'm gonna continue on here in a little bit. But I don't know if this is one I can post up at, but I might just do a little bit of editing here. We'll see. Pretty standard issue Starbucks, as usual. In case you'd like to know, my drink of choice, which I splurge sometimes and get, is a venti no water chai with a shot of espresso and two pumps of mocha. It's excellent. Soy milk as well, but, or whatever they have, oat milk. Excellent. Well, friends, I finally landed. I wanted to go off course quite a bit to say hello to some old kiting friends, Gary and Margie. Old uh, staples of the kite man days. You know, if it wasn't for these guys and their support of kiting, you know, kiting would not be where it is today, whether, well, you, whether you realize that or not, both of you. Well, I'm it's glad I, we can contribute to something. Totally worth going off course to say hello to some old friends. What do you think of the Vanity, guys? Your shirt matches. It does. I love it. I could climb great. right in. It's great. It reminds yeah. me of my first and second van. This is the way to travel. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's great seeing you guys. I know it's a quick stop, but hey. Yeah, thanks to COVID. Next yeah. time you have to stay over. Yeah, next time I will. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was great to see you. it's onward and upward. They gave me a suggestion of a very cool place that I'm going to take them up on. What's the name of the, the road again? The Dragon's Tail. The Dragon's Tail. Friends. So, get ready for this it sounds like a really fun trip down the road you're gonna like it it's an adventure definitely and we all like adventures so you know <laughs> thanks guys Thank see you. you see you soon thanks <laughs> well, it was good to see old friends on the road drove off course a little bit but it's awesome scenery up here i've always wanted to drive through the blue ridge mountains and uh, just see the small towns I've always driven right through on the freeways, very little off course, and this is right through the middle of all of North Carolina. This is awesome. Our final destination is gonna to be to meet my friend Joel in Silva, North Carolina. So we're gonna go there and spend the evening, maybe find a good place for some beers, see what Joel's up to, and then head on to Nashville tomorrow. But tonight's gonna to be its own adventure. So let's get going. Again. It is getting cold out. It's like, uh, I don't know, 30 miles west of where I just was. I'm not even much further north, I don't think. Not very far from my last destination, where it was about 80, 75 degrees, maybe. Uh, felt pretty cool, it's overcast, but now it's probably dropped 10 or 15 degrees and just started to rain. It's getting a little foggy. The mountains are beautiful. The traffic's heavy. Uh, this is an awesome trip anyway. Sleeping in this van tonight is gonna be glorious. Stop 
place, this gas station called Mountain Energy. Pretty cool little gas station. Probably one of the last places that I'm gonna see this. Boiled peanuts, hot and regular. Don't see them too much in the north. I wish I was hungry for those, but I'm not. I don't wanna make a mess of them. Well, I've landed here in Silva. I think my friend is walking up here to meet me right now. You guys might remember Joel from other popular videos like Monster Furtada. Oh yeah, that's the only other one. Yeah. Are you on IMDb yet because of that? Uh, no, I no. haven't claimed any rights. No, but we're out here hanging out at this pretty cool little cava bar tonight. Silva is how you say it, right? Silva. Silva. Beautiful hotel. Beautiful music. Totally. Check it out. Nice work. Thank you, man. You know, I try to do what I can do when I can do it. It's one of those moments. sure because it's Wednesday that my favorite coffee shop has opened just recently a speakeasy I've only been there once should a we even be talking shop, about this right now coffee shop with the speakeasy it's legal but it is hidden I always want the illegal ones well you gotta kind is of it really to... a speakeasy if it's legal yes because because they're they're making it separate from what you walk into a lot of speakeasies were pharmacies and they just had a door in the back you know speakeasies were uh restaurants or you didn't expect liquor to be there so when you walk into a coffee shop you don't really expect that there's gonna be liquor in the back okay but i feel you oh shoot the fact that there's cars out front is a good sign they turn the lights on to let you know they're open you see those bulb lights yeah that lets you know this place has got the speakeasy open. Okay. It's behind a curtain and a door in a coffee shop. It's legit. <laughs> eight to three, that's 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's not, it's past 2 p.m. right now. It's past 2 p.m., unfortunately, yes. but. Or the coffee shop where it's happening in the morning. The best espresso, the best coffee, the best Americano, the How best cappuccino. How did you find this place? Hi, Joel. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. This is definitely the most speakeasiest speakeasies. Were you trying to check out what's next? No. The house made ginger with a pinch of salt. So do I. I have, yeah.
Yeah. yeah I love a Paloma. This is Main Street, Silva, North Carolina. Um, if you watch the movie Three Billboards with Woody Harrelson, there's about three billboards over Missouri or whatever. It was filmed right here. Cool. <clears throat> right in front of the most photographed courthouse, probably the most photographed building in the state. Van life. Van life. Well, it's time for me to turn in for the night. Thanks for watching, friends. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. What kind of water is this? This is strawberry banana. Strawberry banana water. Mm-hmm.